What is going on guys, Beamizzle 201 from Wombo Squad and today I'm going to show you guys how to play PC games with a wired controller. Now in this video I'm using a Rock Candy Xbox 360 controller. You can use pretty much any controller that is wired. So let's get started. First what you want to do is plug in your wired controller and wait for it to install to your computer. Then you want to press the link in the description and download the XPad or zip file. Once it's done downloading, extract the contents into a folder of your choice and you'll be brought with XPowder 5.7 and controller images. Now if you're running XPowder with Windows 8, all you have to do, right click, go to properties, compatibility, run this program compatibility mode for Windows 7. Then open XPowder 5.7 and then you'll see this gray blank screen. So you're going to press this little icon in the corner and click new. Then you'll be brought with this pink screen, so you want to press open. Now the file I provided you with comes with a ton of controller images, so you'll be guaranteed to find the one that you're using. I'm using just an my Xbox 360 controller, so I'm just going to click on it. Then you want to click on sticks and press enabled. Then you're going to press left, up, then do the same thing for the other stick. Drag it down here. And then you're going to go to the D-pad, press up, down, left, right, drag it to the D-pad, and then you're going to press the buttons. Press A, B, X, Y. Then you're going to drag them. Now to make sure that they're in the spot that you want them in, all you have to do is press the buttons on your controller, and it'll highlight them on this screen. And then you're going to press start and back, drag them over to those buttons, and left bumper and right bumper. And now if you're like me, I use these sticks to crouch, so you're just going to press in the stick, drag it to where you want it, click in the other stick, and drag it to where you want it. Then you're going to go to triggers, press enabled, and press left trigger, right trigger. And they'll be already put where you should need them at then you're just gonna press OK and it'll bring you to this screen so it already has all of my controls saved but for you you're just gonna want to click on the buttons and it'll bring up this keyboard and mouse and just press whatever button you want them to be and once you're done it should look something like this so then you're gonna go to your game and the controller should automatically be working and you could just play around Do whatever you need to. Now, thank you guys for watching. If you, oh my god! All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up for more, and I'll see you guys in future episodes. Peace.